Okay, so for today, we're, let's take a look at questions 13 and 14. Now, this is what we're going to call a trapezoid. Now, let me do something really quick with a trapezoid. Let me talk about how trapezoids look like. Now, trapezoids, the top and the bottom are parallel. Now, one of them is bigger than the other, but they're still parallel. One of them, we're going to call this base one. And the other one, I'm going to call base two. There's two bases. And let me close this thing up. And then there is a height. It's going to touch both bases at 90 degrees. Now, we're going to call this the height. Now, interesting part of on the trapezoid is if I cut the height in half and the top part Right, we see the top part. I moved it to the bottom. It's going to be here. Let me flip it. Let me flip it and put it to the bottom. So now this little space right here it is base one. Right, it's not measured to scale. So they don't think it's the same size. It is supposed to, but I didn't draw it. I didn't draw it to the you know measure to scale. But what we're saying, what I'm trying to say here it is, if I cut the top half and I put it at the bottom, it is going to create what we called a parallelogram. Notice it creates a parallelogram. Now, a parallelogram is what we saw yesterday. Now, all we do is we multiply the two numbers that make the 90 degree angle. Now, interesting part here though, is that the long side, the, the bottom side of my parallelogram is gonna be base two plus base one. Notice how I added the bases. So that's the long side at the bottom of my parallelogram. And the height of this, the other number that makes it the 90 degree is gonna be the height divided by two. Because remember at the beginning I said, I'm gonna cut the half, the height in half. So let's take a look at our work. What am I gonna do here? The way I'm gonna do this, I notice there's base one and base two. So I'm just gonna add the two bases, 7.9 plus 2.9. That's the first thing. Now in another parentheses, I'm gonna go height divided by two. The height you notice is two. So the height divided by two. Now, what is, what is this? 7.9 plus 2.9. Let me do each of my parentheses. 7.9 plus 2.9, that gives me 10.8. The other parentheses, two divided by two, that's one. Now, to finish this, let me multiply my two parentheses, 10.8 times one, and that gives me 10.8. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at question number 14. The way I'm gonna do this, I see one of the bases 1.6 and the other base is four. The bases are the two sides that are parallel, right? The two sides that will never intersect. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go 1.6 plus four. So I'm gonna add the bases. One of my parentheses, I add the base. The other parentheses, I go height divided by two. Height is this measurement in the center. So in this case, the height is two. The height is two, so height divided by two. Because remember I said earlier, we cut the height in half. So my first parentheses, 1.6 plus four. That is 5.6. My second parentheses, two divided by two, that's one. Now, my second parentheses will not always be one. All right, height divided by two. Sometimes it might even be a decimal. Again, the second parentheses is height divided by two. Now, to finish this, let me multiply my two parentheses, 5.6 times one, and my result in this case, 5.6. Let me zoom out. 
focus on the formula that we learn. The first parenthesis, you add the two bases. And the second parenthesis is height divided by two. Notice I use a fraction for division, but it's height divided by two. 